Hey there guys, it's Tina and I'm back and we have a fun get ready with me video today where I am doing this look that is inspired by the Natasha Denono Circle Loco palette. So there's some marketing images. I will pop it up over here what my inspiration is, but this image really captured me. It's so beautiful. The look is stunning. I love this bright orange look and I'm like, oh my God, I want to recreate this. And I did a build a palette where I actually replicated the palette from singles in my own collection. I will link it over here so you can check it out. I don't know where links are anymore. I keep pointing over here or over here. I don't know. I will link it down below, but also I will link it in the video here so you can check it out. But I built my own Circo Loco inspired palette and I didn't really take too many creative liberties. I kind of tried to duplicate the palette shade for shade and I think I did a pretty good job. So in this video, we're gonna try to replicate that look and I also think I did a pretty good job with that. So if you wanna see this look that I created using my inspired palette. In addition to seeing me use some new products from Dior, it is mainly going to be a Dior face. I'm going to try out a ton of Dior products. Then stay tuned and I will talk to you soon. All right guys, so as usual we're starting off with a clean freshly washed face. I filled in my eyebrows with my usual Benefit brow pencil and I went in with a little bit of moisturizer from Sunday Riley. I am trying to use this up. This is the Tidal Brightening Enzyme Water Cream. It is almost done guys. I am so proud of myself. Slowly but surely we're getting through it. I'm trying to use up my products. So I am actually, I wanted to do this. I should have done this off camera. But I'm gonna go in with a little bit of eye cream. This is from Cynic. It's the Right Self Clinic. I picked this up from YesStyle. It's their Snail Matrix Eye Cream. I will link it down below. If you wanted to try out any K-Beauty brands or J-Beauty brands, they have really good skincare for relatively affordable prices. And I don't know, man, J brands and K brands really know how to do skincare well. So this is the snail eye cream that has a little bit of slip to it and my under eye is feeling a little bit dry so I wanted to go ahead and apply it. So I did a Yes Style video. I will link it over here so you can check it. Is it here or here? I think it's here. I forget now, why am I forgetting? Anyway, I will link it so you guys can check it out. I tried out a bunch of eye creams in that video and the scenic one is the one that I really like because it has the slip to it, it's hydrating, but it doesn't leave behind like a really sticky feel. It just feels comfortable. So going in with that. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and try out this look here from Natasha Denono. You know I don't mess with Natasha, but I must say that this look is really beautiful. It really inspired me and I'm like, okay, we're gonna do it. So this photo is from the Circo Loco palette launch. So it's one of the marketing images and I did do a build a palette. Again, I will link it over here so you can check it out. I think it's over here. I built this palette using that palette as an inspiration. Well, not even that inspiration. I tried to almost exactly dupe it and I think I can came pretty close and I'm going to try to replicate the look since it's from that palette on my eyes right now and I'm you guys should wish me luck but I think it should be pretty easy to replicate it's not that it's not that complicated there are not a lot of steps to it so we're gonna see so we're gonna start out with a sticky eyeshadow primer this is from Juvia's Place it's the Eye Prep Eye Prime Eye Primer and it's shade number two which is the lighter beige shade and I'm just gonna blend that all over the eyes to give us a good base to start out with and I really do like this eyeshadow primer it holds on to colorful eyeshadows really well and helps them to really pop so we're gonna go in with the shimmery orange shade which is from Sydney Grace it's the shade orange slush and I'm gonna pick that up on a Sonia G worker 2 brush and just pop that all over the lid this look is pretty easy. It looks like there are only three shades that were used. This shimmery orange, the matte orange in the crease, and then a little bit of a shimmery lighter duochrome in the inner tear duct area, which I think we are set with the palette that I made. So I'm just blending that all over the lid and fading out the crease just a little bit. We're gonna go in with the matte orange to create a little dimension, but I'm gonna pull this color up. So I already applied the color. I have just a little bit left on the brush. 
I'll turn the brush to the side and buff the color upwards. And this shade, even though it's shimmery, when you blend it out in the crease, it gives you just a haze of orange that's not too shiny, which I really like about the Sydney Gray shimmers. They're shimmery, they're shiny, and if you dampen them, they can look really metallic, but at the same time, you can blend them out and they look almost matte in the crease. Like, they don't give you too much shine in the crease area, and I really like that. All right, I'm gonna build that up just a little bit more where we blended and lost some of the intensity. So we'll just pop that on the lid space. That works perfectly. And now we'll go in with the matte orange, which is ACM9 from Adept Cosmetics. And I'm just gonna pop that on a small blending brush. This is from Sonia Kashuk. It's the blending crease brush. And it's a small crease brush, so it's not gonna have color just going everywhere. And I'll just blend that in the crease line and brow bone area. I'm not even bringing it out on the outer V just yet. I might. It doesn't look... Well, it looks like a little bit is out in the outer V. I'm putting this mainly in the crease area and blending it upwards. That is such a pretty color. It looks a little crazy right now, I'm not gonna lie to you. But this orange goes almost all the way up to the brow bone in the inspiration look. So, I'ma just blend it, child. I mean, once you put the face together, it should be fine. And the brows, I am never... Uh, you know what, I shouldn't even say never, but I am more than likely never going to do the little paste down brow thing. That is not my jam. I'm picking up a little bit more just to match the eyes. I am never, no, you're not going to get me doing that laminated brow thing. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. <laughs> no, I don't like it. It just, it doesn't suit me, you know, in my style, so I'm never going to do it. It looks okay on some people. But for the most part, I don't like how it looks, if I'm honest with you. I'm just going to pop some of this on the outer V now, just for a little bit of dimension. But it's not going to do too much because the whole look is orange. Okay, I think we should move on and do some work on the face and then come back to finish up the eyes. So I'm actually going to go in with my Gucci primer. This is such a good little primer. I just got about two pumps of that. And I'm just going to apply it all over my skin. I really like this primer, but it's highly fragranced. So if you're not into fragrance in your makeup, this might not be for you. But it feels really nice on the skin. It's almost like a lotion-y texture, but it smooths out the skin and just gives you a nice canvas to start out with. So yeah, if you wanted to try it out, I would say it's, it's not a bad little primer to test out at all. Alright, the inspiration look is very matte and it's very plain. I'm going to do more than that face, okay? We're just going to keep it at the inspiration for the eyeshadow because I want to do more with my skin. I'm going to go in with my Dior Forever Foundation. This is the Skin Care and Foundation with Sunscreen. It's the matte version. I have the shade 4.5N. And we're going to go ahead and apply that with my new favorite foundation brush. This foundation, again... I don't know if it's fragrance necessarily, but it definitely smells potently of alcohol, which I think has to do with the long wear and mattifying claims. I think alcohol is probably very high up in the ingredient list. Do they have the ingredients here? No. Oh, it also has SPF 35, even though I don't rely on my foundation for sunscreen, but it's still good to have a sunscreen in your foundation, especially if you're going outside. So you layer it on top of sunscreen so it can give you like an added backup, you know, just a little backup plan, it's fine. I used this in another video before and I was thinking, oh, don't use this one, use something else. But I'm so in love with it and I really want a matte look today. So yeah, that's why I'm sticking to it. I was gonna use the glow one, but I was like, nah. Now let's do the matte and we can do the glow powder. Now I wanted to keep the face mainly Dior, but you know what? I'm not using their concealer. It is not my favorite concealer. I don't hate it, but I have a concealer that I prefer and that's the Fenty concealer. So I'm just gonna apply that instead. I know, I know, I, I was gonna do all Dior. I like the concealer, but I feel like it's not what everybody said it was gonna be. And hmm, it's nice. It's very, it's very moisturizing, which I don't mind a moisturizing concealer, but I don't want that all the time. You know what I mean? I prefer, <laughs> this is a little SpongeBob sponge. Look at this. This is from, is it from Wet n Well? Yeah. And <laughs> I don't know. Okay. 
I got it, so that's what we're using. This is, who is this, Patrick, I guess? This is supposed to be the starfish. I don't know, but I thought it was cute, and I don't know that I love it necessarily. This little pointy part feels a little awkward, I'm not gonna lie to you. It feels a little bit like a finger, which I mean it's supposed to be a good thing, right? That's, that's good to get up in there. Yeah, I mean, it just, it's, Take some getting used to because I've never had a sponge that had quite this shape, you know? I picked this guy up at Harmon's actually. I saw the little display. They had all of the sponges and the little palette. So I picked up three of the sponges. All right, so let's go in now and set under the eyes. I'm going to use my Dior Face and Body Powder No Powder. The shade I'm using is 4N Neutral. And this is a very lightweight powder it's barely there it's a beautiful powder like it does mean no powder it really doesn't give you a ton of coverage and it has more of like a skin like feel to it rather than a matte finish so I'm just gonna pounce this over the skin depending on the brush you use you can pick up a lot or a little the brush that I was just using doesn't really pick up the powder too much, but this brush from Smashbox, the Kabuki brush, really does pick up enough to set your skin. But this powder will never look like it never looks powdery because you don't really get a lot on your brush. Low key, if I'm honest with you, I feel like it's not picking up a thing. So the powder kind of creates a little bit of a hard pan. So I'm going to go in with this brush from Morphe. This is actually picking up the product and I can see it on the bristles, so that's what I need. I need to see what's happening, alright? So, yeah, I think that's cute, cute. Alright, instead of going straight in to finish up the eyes, let's go in with some bronzer. So I have the new bronzer here. This is called the Dior Forever Natural Bronze. And I have the deepest shade, which is number 8, Deep Bronze. i would gotten number 7, but I feel like number 7... It's just, mm, it's not necessarily for me. This may be a little bit too deep, but we're gonna see. I'm gonna grab it on my FO4 brush from Chikohoto and pop that on my hairline. So the thing about bronzer and me is I prefer a darker bronzer on my hairline to blend in with my darker hair because my hair is completely black, right? Except for my little gray streak that's getting longer and longer, but I have a dark hairline so I tend to want to go in a little bit darker with my bronzer so I don't necessarily go in with a shade that you would think is my shade. I'll go in just a shade deeper which happens to be number 8, the darkest shade. That is a nice little powder. It applied pretty well. It blends in nicely. Ooh, that's cute. It doesn't look too red, but it's definitely not on the warm, like, yellow side or orange side. Okay, okay. I don't mind this at all. I do have their contour palette as well. This is universal. So there are two highlighter shades, two contour shades. So these are the dark shades. Highlight, contour, highlight, contour for the light. So this palette I wanted to try out. I don't know. I don't know why. I just wanted to try it out. I haven't heard anybody really go crazy about it, but I was like, let me try it out. And you can mix the two contour shades. It's not like you're limited. Of course, you have all four shades in here, so you can mix and mingle. And this is from their backstage line as well, which is kind of their backstage makeup artist kind of situation where you have the clear packaging. It's not as pricey. It's just like their spin-off, okay? So I'm going to go in with this Patrick Ta brush. This is the contour wand brush. It is a fan shaped brush, but it's at an angle and it has a really thick, almost squared off top. The handle is very thick though, which I think that's where they went wrong. With a brush, you don't want the handle to be thick like that. You want it to taper a little bit. When it's thick like this, it's not that comfortable in the hand. So we're gonna go in between the light and dark contour. So I'm gonna go between the two, get it on the brush, and then we're gonna pop it on the hollows of my cheek and blend it upwards. So when I tried this out, I was like, oh, let me find out. I fell in love with the face and body one so much so that's why I went and tried this out because I'm like, if it has the same formula, 
these powders are so beautiful they're so easy to blend they look so seamless on the skin I wonder if this will be the same and yes it is like look at that contour it looks like nothing on my skin but it's giving me that shape and effect like you guys see it right you see my face like <laughs> snatched that is so pretty I really really like it I love these powders from Dior if I could recommend anything from Dior it would be their face powders and their foundation so any complexion products pretty much are just top-notch I really really love that <laughs> alright so I also have a blush from them so I told you this was mostly gonna be a Dior face right I don't know that this blush is gonna go with these eyes but we're gonna do it anyway so this is their rouge blush in 999 I don't know what shade that is but it's really beautiful now it has a little bit of a corally look to it it's not just pink so I'm hoping it might work with the eyes you know like a corally orangey no it's pink it's definitely pink okay it doesn't go with the eyes but that's fine I'm not gonna use too much of it but it has such a beautiful glow to it and we're gonna put the highlighter powder on which is gonna tame it just a little bit but I wanted to try out one of their blushes and this was the one that pulled me in it was just so pretty it's very pretty for sure like look at that color and it has a bit of a sheen to it it's really really stunning guys again not the best one for this look but we must proceed okay now we're gonna try out the highlighter from the contour palette so the highlight is really stunning it's more of a beige highlight so I think it is perfect for me because I don't like a blinding highlight right and like I said you can mix the other highlight shade which is the lighter one and get a brighter highlight but I think this looks so stunning on the skin it's right up my alley which is just a subtle highlight that gives a little bit of glow to the skin without being too loud and in your face and I think that is perfect all right let's go ahead and finish up the eyes so we're going to run the orange on the lower lash line the shimmery orange first which it looks like that's completely what's on the lower lash line area in the photo and then I'll pick up some of the matte shade and also run that on the lower lash line just to add a little more intensity because the matte you can see really add to that color pale all right next up we have the little shimmery inner tear duct so i'm gonna go in with the shade that we chose for that which is from sydney grace it's the shade troops and i'm gonna pick that up on a very tiny brush this is from refer it's the number 23 brush and honestly on my skin tone i feel like this color matches up with whatever the color is in the palette that was used for that i mean it, to me it looks spot on like look at that am I right am I right I don't know what they used on the lower waterline but I'm gonna go in with black because right now my eyes look a little bit crazy with all this orange and no actual definition so I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna do my mascara lower waterline liner and lower lash mascara as well and then I think should we do lashes? Yeah, we're definitely doing lashes. So for the mascara, I'm using the Lash Brag Volumizer Mascara from Anastasia Beverly Hills. On the lower waterline, we're going in with the Makeup by Mario Master Pigment Pro Pencil in Super Black. And then for my lower lash mascara, you guys already know I'm using my MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash Mascara. For a quick brow bone highlight, I'm gonna use Blur Eyeshadow from Melt Cosmetics. And I'm just gonna apply that and blend it downward. And that will help to tame some of that orange on the brow bone area fade it just a little bit and then for my lashes I'm gonna go in with my favorites from kiss these are the luxe extension lashes in the style royal silk these lashes are so amazing they give you length and fullness but they're not too thick they're easy to apply and they're decently priced so you're not breaking the bank to get these lashes and you can use them multiple times you can get up to 15 uses so far I'm on use number six with these all right so let me go ahead and change my outfit and we'll come back and finish up the rest of the look so I will see you guys in a bit all right guys so 
Here is the majority of the finished look. Now we just have to do lips, which in this look, it's very nude, it's very almost foundation looking with a dark line. I'm not gonna do that because, um, no. So we're gonna go in with a nude lipstick. This is from Huda Beauty. It's one of her new hydrating cream lipsticks. It's the shade Sweet Cheeks. And I actually think this lipstick will bring us pretty close to what the model is wearing in the inspiration look. I mm, Should I go in with the darker liner though? So I'm actually going to use a lip liner from KVD. This is the shade Crucifix. I don't know if they have this anymore, but any dark brown liner will do. And just lightly outline the edges of the lips. Not doing too much though, and not doing it at all like the model has it in the photo. That's just too much. But who doesn't like an outlined nude lip? I think it looks so stunning. All right, there you have it guys. This is the finished look and I must say, I am absolutely in love with it. I love how it turned out, which goes to show that my inspiration palette, my builder palette, really matches up well with whatever Natasha has going on because this look is almost spot on. Even the inner tear duct color that I thought would be off based on like that color that I used in my palette wasn't quite the match to the shade that I was trying to replicate in the Circle Local palette, but on the eyes, it does exactly what I need it to do. So I think this is stunning. It's such an easy look to achieve. I love the lips. Who, come on, who doesn't love like a juicy nude lip? And the skin, all the Dior products, I really, really like. You know what I'm gonna do though? I'm gonna go in with a Boldermore RNG blush just to tie everything together because I feel like I need an RNG blush right now. And you know what? I'm not even gonna do anything extra. I'm gonna go back to the eyeshadow that we used. I'm gonna use the one from Adept, the matte one, and just pop that on the cheek area. Like, we don't need to do the most. We can be very monochromatic and use the same shade that we used on the eye because it is the same tone, right? So why not just pop that on the cheeks and it blends out pretty nicely. So, yeah. Perfect. And if you wanted to pick these shades up, I actually have a discount code for both Adept and Sydney Grace Cosmetics. So I will leave them down below in case you wanted to pick any of these shades up and you wanted to get a little discount off. You might get 10 or 15% off your entire purchase. And then as for the face, I really do love this foundation. It's one of my favorite foundations I've tried out recently. I also love the Clinique foundation, but this foundation, it has such a great finish. It's such a great color match. It really wears well. The primer is amazing. I love the primer. I like this bronzer as well. This Dior bronzer did really well as well as the contour palette, which I am surprised by. I thought I wouldn't like it as much. If you're deeper than me, you're probably not gonna get much use out of that because the shades don't go really deep, so just be mindful of that. And the blush that I used is really pretty too. It just doesn't go too well with this look. And the lipstick, loving it. Lip liner, loving it. You know, the whole works. So there you have it, guys. This is the completed look. And I absolutely love it. Oh, should I show you my outfit? I might pop in a little a little video of my outfit. So this, you know what? Let me show you really quick. This is a two-piece outfit and I almost flashed my underwear just now. So it's just a little crop top with a skirt that has a little tie right here. And it is helping to disguise this tummy that I got going on. Because you know I got some shapewear on, child. Mmm, mmm. I might show you a little video of what it looks like complete, like in the sun and stuff. We'll see if I do that, but it's a cute little outfit, but I've been wearing more shapewear stuff. I should probably do a video on like the shapewear that I've picked up. I have some from Honey Love and Skims. So let me know if that's something you guys are interested in. Cause like I said, again, we'll wait. <laughs> Got a little COVID chubby going on. I actually joined a boot camp, which I start tomorrow officially. I already did the orientation class, which kind of kicked my ass, which is kind of warming me up because you need to get over that initial soreness because my body was, whew, when I tell you I couldn't go up or down the stairs comfortably, I couldn't even sit on the toilet comfortably. I was in so much pain, but I got that initial class out the way. So we start officially tomorrow and it's a six week boot camp and 
we're gonna see what happens so I will keep you posted on my progress if you want to know so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and leave a full list of all the products mentioned and used in this video down below in the description box along with links on where you can pick them up those links happen to be affiliate links which means I will get a small sales commission if you make a purchase through my links and it's a great way to show you support for the channel because it does help me to put right back into the content so if you do shop using my links thank you so so much I truly appreciate it but if you're not comfortable with that just shop the way you normally shop no must no fuss I'm just still happy you're here watching if you like the video thumbs up favorite share with your friends you know all that good stuff and I will also leave links to my Instagram and Twitter page where you can follow me along and until my next video which will be very soon I'll talk to you bye guys Thank you.